In this tutorial, I want to show you how we can find the dissociation constant of a competitive inhibitor. And we do some enzyme kinetics and take some measurements. So we measure a Km of 427 micromolar when we don't have an inhibitor present. And we measure an uh, apparent Km, and this up indicates here that we have an inhibitor present. We find a Km up of 933 micromolar when we have an inhibitor concentration of 570 nanomolar. And we also find no change when we have an inhibitor present, which is indicative that indeed we are working with a competitive inhibitor. And what we want to do now is find a way how we can calculate the inhibitor dissociation constant from these uh, values that we have got here. So uh, just a quick recap, how does that work? So we've got an enzyme plus a substrate, and this gives us in a reversible reaction an enzyme substrate complex. And eventually this will then result in an enzyme plus the product. So that is how we would deal with a typical Michaelis-Menten enzyme. And if we've got a competitive inhibitor, then we know that the inhibitor interacts and in, again, a reversible reaction, we form an enzyme inhibitor complex. And this is characteristic for a competitive inhibitor. And we can formulate the dissociation constant, Ki, and I like to call it Kic, that indicates the competitive inhibitor, equals the concentration of the enzyme times the concentration of the inhibitor divided by the concentration of the enzyme inhibitor complex. So that is uh, what we are looking for, this Kic. And of course, it's not easy to find these different concentrations. Uh, so uh, what we can do is we can basically say, what do we expect for a competitive inhibitor? So we have no inhibitor. And we would look at the parameters, at the enzyme parameters. So with no inhibitor, we have a value for Vmax and a value for Km. So these would be the values without the inhibitor. And with the inhibitor at a given concentration, we would uh, get the Vmax apparent value, Vmax apparent, and the Km apparent. And as I said, the apparent indicates that we've got an inhibitor. And for a competitive inhibitor, we know that this here is indeed the same as Vmax, because the uh, inhibitor does not change Vmax if it is a competitive inhibitor. However, Km, the Km up changes, and this would be Km times alpha, and alpha is just simply the uh, inhibitor factor. And we know that alpha can be written as 1, plus the inhibitor concentration divided by Kic. So that is how alpha is defined. And what we can do now is we can uh, just simply say, right, Km up equals Km times alpha. So let's write that down. Km up again equals Km times alpha. Now we can solve for alpha. We bring the Km to the other side. So alpha 
equals km up, the apparent km divided by km. And we also know that alpha, as I said here, equals 1 plus the inhibitor concentration over KIC. So I bring the one to the other side. I have with that Km up over Km minus one, because the one went to the other side, equals the inhibitor concentration divided by Kic. And all I need to do is I can, for example, put that into a bracket. I bring Kic to that side. I divide by this term. And what I then get is Kic equals the inhibitor concentration divided by Km up over Km minus 1. The inhibitor concentration I've given here, Km up and Km is also known, so I can actually solve this. And I just put in the number, so we've got 570 nanomolar for our competitive inhibitor, that's the concentration that we use here, divided by, what have we got? We've got a Km up divided by the Km, that would be 427 micromolar. We see the micromolar cancel out, that is quite a handy, minus one. And if we put that into a calculator, we get a value of 481. And the unit that we have is the same as the concentration unit for the inhibitor. So that would be 481 nanometer, nan nanomolar. And of course, if we so wish, we could also calculate the alpha. So the alpha here would be one plus 570 over 481, what we just calculated. And here this alpha would be a factor of roughly 2.2, if we so wish. So that shows how we can calculate the KIC for a competitive inhibitor if we've got KM up and KM and the inhibitor concentration if we've got this given. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.